Hey guys, this is Amber from the Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 10 kids and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show y'all what we eat in a week. We go shopping on Tuesday. And so Wednesday is, which is today, is the first day of our food week. So today we are making ground beef stroganoff. This is actually something that y'all have suggested that we make because we made um, just regular beef stroganoff with actual like, you know, real I mean, beef. I mean, I know ground beef is real beef, but you know what I mean? Like, like a hunk of meat that was really expensive and time consuming to cut. And everyone was like, hey, you should try hamburger beef stroganoff. Um, or I guess ground beef stroganoff. And so we are trying it. This is the first time we've tried it. We found a recipe online. Not sure if it's a good one or not. I'll have to let you know. But it is from natashaskitchen.com. And I've made some other things from her um, website and it's it's been good. So I'm hoping this one is good too. But of course it has ground beef in it and it also has some cream, sour cream. We've got some egg noodles from the from the store, like Dutch, okay, like Dutch egg noodles or whatever. So no Pennsylvania Dutch, which is I think like kind of Amish style. So comfort food, <laughs> hopefully it tastes good. So we're starting it with some, um, ground beef and the onions a little bit of oil in there boiling the pot over there for the noodles and there's some flour and also mushrooms in there looking yummy yummy well it says to add one cup of this and then one oh. cup of the cream okay so we're putting so, in beef broth and the heavy cream <laughs> if it has heavy cream in it, usually that's an <laughs> indication of yumminess almost always. <laughs> Be it whipped cream or savory. Oh, and Mark also put some garlic in there. That was the other ingredient. It smells amazing. So these are the uh oh, they're right, they're making a ruckus. We need to get some felt on the bottom of those chairs. So we've got our Pennsylvania Dutch noodles. We're gonna make two of them. Classic American comfort, it says. What do you think, Mo? Sound yummy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me pick those up. Yummy stuff. Yeah. Kids are over here doing their homework and eating oranges. <laughs> Did you just have a chocolate, Mo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes his older siblings give him treats. And a pear. Yeah, we had a pear earlier too, huh? Was that yummy? We still haven't put all the stuff, all the groceries away from last night. Okay. Mark also put the sour cream in there. It's beautiful. So it only had 0.5 cups, basically half a cup of sour cream. I saw Sarah from our Tribe of Mini make hamburger show it off once, and since then I've been like, I bet my kids are like that. So we'll see if this is our first try. So the noodles are all cooked, and this is all cooked, and this definitely was much faster than making the traditional beef stroganoff, so I think this is, if the kids like it, it's a winner. There's even a recipe on the back, it's called cheeseburger noodle skillet, so that might be good too, I have to save that recipe. <laughs> My sweet girl came home from Julia. Oh, there's his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to wash his shirt. Uh, wash. We're washing Spider-Man Mo shirt. Spider-Man Elijah says it smells like McDonald's. It really <laughs> does. It smells like a McDonald's hamburger. <laughs> so we're serving it with these French rolls too. Hey Mo, do you like it? Yeah. Is it good? How about Elijah? Does Elijah approve? It's actually really good. <laughs> wow, you found a winner. Can't stop. I think I like tried stuff? if I like it, but I can't stop eating. <laughs> yes. Noodles. I did it. Oh, beautiful. And then we put some parsley on top, too. For some greenage. Moses wants to show everyone his mushroom. Is it good? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I did that. What is that? Yeah, I forget what you do. It's easy. What do you do? You just, you just... Enoch's eating over here. He's a good, he loves French bread. So French rolls are good. <laughs> good 
thing for him. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. What do you think, Mark? Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like it, Chloe? Good? Hey, your side, tell me your, uh... Play-Doh? Do you like it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Very good. Oh, yeah, Anna, we're taking a shower, so now they're eating. <laughs> Sometimes we eat in stages around here. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. We're having tacos tonight. <laughs> it's actually a pretty easy meal. Um, what we got was we got these little mini organic flour tortillas. Usually I get corn because it's probably, I think it's healthier, I don't know. But um, they didn't have them, so we are having soft tacos. I remember when I was a kid. Taco Bell started like the soft taco thing. I don't know if they, I don't know if in Mexico they had soft tacos. But anyway, so I remember like my first um, Taco Bell soft taco with like the flour shell and I just thought that was the best thing ever, but it probably was not very healthy for me, but <laughs> we're making a healthy version. So we just do or two, two chunks of that beef from Costco. It's basically each like square of the beef is 1.34 pounds. So yeah, we eat a lot of beef around here. Um, well, I mean, when, when we do have beef, we actually don't eat that much beef, but when we do have it, we, you know, we're making like tacos, we end up going through about two and a half pounds of beef. And we're going to use the taco seasoning from Trader Joe's. Here's our taco seasoning mix. Kids are over there plotting what they want for Christmas. <laughs> You want to see the taco seasoning? Yep. This is a little spicier than our regular taco seasoning mix. It has sea salt, cumin, cayenne pepper, brown cane sugar, dried garlic, dried onion, black pepper, paprika, dried red bell pepper, red chili, pepper flakes, dried oregano, and smoked paprika. You want to test it? You want to give it to daddy? He's going to put it in the beef. Who's giving you the taco seasoning, daddy? Oh. Thank you. What a helper. <laughs> and then to round it off, I make some pinto beans in the Instant Pot. I just use about two cups of pinto beans in the Instant Pot, and it's just like a, a side dish or whatever. We can turn those into refried beans with the immersion blender and some cheese and some salsa, or we can just leave them whole. When I was a kid, I remember I just loved pinto beans with just like ketchup and cheese. <laughs> So I was easy. I was easy to please as a kid. Or is it like looking at the Target toy selection? <laughs> so Mark's actually gonna put the some diced tomatoes in there. The back of the package says to put water, but it used to say to put some tomatoes. So we're gonna we're gonna put tomatoes in there and make it a little probably probably healthier, I think. Cooking our tortillas in mass here. They're so cute and little. And then uh, doing the tomatoes. Got this lettuce. We're gonna do some cheese. And did you salt the beans, Elijah? Okay, this is team effort dinner here. Fast and furious. Here's our beans. Put some salt and some ginger in there. We got our tomatoes, our lettuce, cheese, meat. She's cooking up the tortillas over there. We got the beans back there. Then we're having some guaca salsa, Trader Joe style, and then also some pico de gallo. So this is this is like street tacos. Style. Street tacos, yes. We're having having a we're recalling Big my San Diego days. <laughs> Although I have seen a Mexican restaurant over by the Costa. We'll see if it's like our San Diego restaurants. You didn't just put more, did you? No. Chloe's a taco master. <laughs> Do you like these flour tortillas? Yeah. I kind of like the corn. Yeah, yeah they didn't have them. We got to Trader Joe's super late this week. We had to take what we, take what we could. Taco Mo? Yeah. <laughs> Taco Mo? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Monica. Taco me and Mo. No, it's good at taco making. If we go to ever to go to San Diego again, we'll have to. Well, I hope we go to San Diego again. I have to go to Rubio's. <laughs> you make Mo a taco. Yeah, I'll make Mo a taco. Mo, Mama made you a taco. Wanna go eat it? Okay, let's put it at your seat. Here's your seat over here. There you go. That's actually a Mo size taco. <laughs> He likes it because it has potatoes, because it's like Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Here's my uh, taco plate, San Diego girl style. <laughs> Got some sour cream and guaca salsa and pico de gallo. And I don't know how I'm gonna eat this because I think I overloaded these little taco shells, but <laughs> I'll find a way. Okay, let's see if I can do this <laughs> without dropping food on me. Big <laughs> belly. Baby 11 is almost here. Uh, <laughs> mm, it's good. Messy, but good. <laughs> you want to show me your taco, Mo? Show me your taco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you need a spoon to eat it? That way. Okay, let's get you a spoon. Yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> That's good, Mo. Sorry. Memo. Tomato. Tomato. That's good, Mo. Good talking. Welcome to Friday night. This is the day I wore over here, so I look funky. But um, anyway, we we're having sweet and sour chicken today. Um, while I was in the shower, everyone ate a lot of it, but <laughs> what's left. And it's just a super easy meal. Um, you don't have to cut. You do have, it does have bell peppers in it, but it doesn't have um, like cut onions or whatever. You just use like garlic powder and ginger powder. So it, that cuts a lot of cutting out of the cutting. <laughs> anyway, um, it's in my, I put the recipe in the community post a few posts back if y'all want to make it. Hey, hey Elijah, Hi. what did you do tonight? I did a gig. For? For money. No, no not for money, but for what was it for? Oh, it was for what? It was a proposal. A proposal. Yeah. Did she say yes? Yeah. Okay. Well, That's well, cool. That be, you know, it's yeah. probably your good playing that helped. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was okay. So he was doing a gig in uh, in Brooklyn. It was in Dumbo, right? Yep. Dumbo, Brooklyn. So she said yes. So <laughs> you're trying to ask someone to marry you. Add a add a cello player in there. <laughs> actually, Pearl went too. So it was actually a string trio. Moses already ate, but he want, really wants to show his food. So he's showing his chocolate. Is that our chocolate from Trader Joe's? Yeah. Is that your favorite treat ever? Yeah. yeah. He rejects cookies, but he's a chocolate lover. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Good kid food. Oh, no. Here is the recipe. I don't know if it's even you can see it. I made a more clean version on the community tab. Here's what it looks like. I had to use green, um, green peppers, which is normal, but I had to use yellow peppers because they were all out of red peppers at the store, <laughs> but they're pretty similar. Mm. And it has canned pineapple too. But I made the mistake of doing it in juice. No, I'm sorry. I made the mistake of doing the heavy syrup pineapple and it's way too sweet. So definitely do the one in juice. <laughs> so just I came home. Where were you just saying? I was at my uh, string or my uh, piano trio rehearsal. Did it go well? Yeah, it went pretty well. What are you playing? For the movement of the uh, bronze piano trio number three, the uh, third movement. 
very beautiful if you play it right. <laughs> Are you guys playing it right? Uh, we're trying to play it more right than we were. So I think we made some progress. Well, the practice. He's good. Hey guys, welcome to Saturday night. Saturday is crazy day, so we have bean burritos. So the kids are having. <laughs> Noah was at Juilliard. Um, Daddy was also at Juilliard. He's going to go back and pick up Chloe. Josiah is always on some historical journey on Saturday, checking out some location. And then um, I went shopping at Target, so I have to link our Target Christmas haul somewhere around here. So anyway, so we are just having burritos, and we just kind of cook them over there on the grill, and then we put cheese, and this is our new favorite thing from Trader Joe's called guaca salsa. And uh, it's a kind of like a tomatillo guacamole mix. Super yummy stuff. Here's the kids playing with our Target purchases. They're ornaments, but they look suspiciously like toys, so <laughs> they're playing with them. I'm not sure if they will last on the tree too long. I think the kids are going to play with them instead. But I used to play with ornaments um, that were supposed to go on the Christmas tree too, so they always look like toys to me. So Elijah made himself a quesadilla. Sometimes a kiss you quesadillas, sometimes you burritos, sometimes you burritos and quesadillas. So it's just kind of a mix. Enoch's over here getting creative. And then Josiah is also eternally creative with beans and salsa and stuff. <laughs> Here's Mama's burrito. Just beans and cheese, whole wheat tortilla from Trader Joe's. This super amazing pico de gallo mild salsa. Put some guaca salsa on there. So good. And sour cream. We bulk buy sour cream because it just, just goes with everything. And so anyway, so that's my burrito. At Chipotle, this would be like a like ten dollar burrito. So I'm living living on the cheap. I always make my burritos too big. Let's see. Here. Good stuff. Oh, all the shopping took it out. Do you like the little Melody, she's got her little piggy. Is it here eating here. lots of nuts? Playing with the nutcracker. <laughs> You put too much. She put too much. She could be like Elsa. You ain't got it all over. I know. I don't know how I do it. Can I see? It does look kind of like Elsa. Wait. Let me see. Bad. It's all right. It looks cute on her because she's little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can handle a lot of pinks. That's Hey guys, 
welcome this Sunday afternoon. We just went to a chocolate shop after church. So some of the kids are like not as hungry as they probably will be eventually. But we are having beef stew. It's kind of an adventure. We've never actually So we just got back from church and probably could, could have cooked it a little longer. Some of the potatoes need a little extra cooking and carrots. But besides that, the flavor is really good. Um, so we're learning as we go. But this is a slow cooker beef stew. It actually has um, some stout in it, which the alcohol cooks out, I've heard. I've heard. Um, and it is from the cozycook.com. And it just has um, beef, like stew meat and um, some Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce and carrots and potatoes and oh those classic things. So anyway. Mama, I wish I had a carrot that wasn't hard so some so of them. So some of them, yeah, some of them are cooked, some of them are not. We're learning. Can't tune your thing. Also, <laughs> this is a package, but in the oven we have these cheddar brioche pull apart rolls to eat with the stew, and that should How be. Do you know when be done? Uh they'll probably be done pretty soon. Hey just said. Do you like the stew? Quite good. Yes, just you know the uh, less cooked vegetables down and the beef is absolutely perfect. It's nice and tender. That's and good. <laughs> Got our girls over there on the couch. Hi, girls. I just practicing. Longer, but besides that, it's good. So we took out our brioche cheddar pull apart rolls. Let me, what do you think, Josiah? Quite good. Quite good. What do you think, Pearl? Yummy. <laughs> Is it good with this too? Yeah. So this is actually really good. The roll with the. With the beef broth. Very good. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are eating minestrone soup. And it is the Jamie Oliver minestrone soup. So it's from the Naked Chef, very first Jamie Oliver cookbook. And it's just a really simple minestrone. It has tomatoes and carrots and leeks and onions and noodles. <laughs> good stuff. We have the leeks. Um, and some olive oil. So here is the cabbage we're gonna put in there. We got some basil we're gonna put in there. Celery and some carrots as well. And garlic. Are you putting garlic, Mark? He's, our <laughs> He's the uh, chef. I'm the sous chef. So while we're doing dinner down downstairs, Josiah's helping Elijah do. Um, Josiah's helping Enoch to his violin. adventure sliding down the stairs. <laughs> stairs in New York City are very steep. I like doing this water I think. Yeah, we're like a game. Yeah. Well careful, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> so I can go down. <laughs> oh, I don't know what she's doing. There's the kids over there. So here's our noodles we're gonna put in the minestrone. It's a organic Italian artisan pasta. So Just it's a little more. These are small enough. It's a little firmer. Yeah, so it's probably small enough. It's helping with the yeah, celery. Right. It's very pretty and colorful in there. With the red onions, 
carrots, and leeks, olive oil. And it's helping with the basil. And we're going to use um, the other half of our Parmesan cheese that we got from Costco to garnish on top. This is everything? Yep. Okay, so we've got the celery in there. We've got the, the liquid in there is this chicken stock from, uh, from Costco. It's endlessly useful. And then over here, you can use Roma tomatoes yourself with your blanche and all this stuff, which I'm like, ah, eh, no. So we just use canned tomatoes, and I just um, emptied some of the sauce mm. from it. Just drained them a little bit. No, 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 you got it. They already have the um, the skin taken off, which is, hey, when you got 10 kids, one on the way, <laughs> gotta do, gotta make things easy, easier. So one of the important ingredients is rosemary. He got this from the planter box out front. It is cold tonight. It's in the Not 40s. That cold. Well, I know we're wimps. I just saw, uh, saw Sarah from our tribe of mini. She was talking about how it was snowing there. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I feel like a wimp. In Chicago too, but here in New York City, it's still cold and it does snow, but not as it's not as cold as Nebraska. But this is our little front planter thing and we get, <laughs> we store our rosemary out here. There's little Mo. He's having a little rest. Here we have the, the cabbages in there too. It's a whole head of cabbage. This just all cooks into a beautiful, and you can see that little rosemary in there too. Cooks into a beautiful soup. Now these are the tomatoes in there. That gives it just a little bit of a, a red color to it. Here's the uh, basil going in there. I'm gonna put the noodles in there last. They take a long time to cook because it is kind of a thick artisan pasta. We only put about half the bag usually. It's kind of a fluffy noodle. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. What's it called? Jiggly, 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 jiggly pasta. Look how pretty they are. Kind of a dense pasta. So the kids are watching their movie, <laughs> so it's dark, but this is the finished product. Yummy, yummy. It's getting all steamy. <laughs> and here's the soup with the cheese. Tuesday morning. It is a cold 40-ish degree day in New York City and I'm going to the um, to OBGYN. It's my 36 week and 6 day, oh no, 37 weeks and 6 days um, appointment. And um, so I'm just, they're going to see, um, <laughs> obviously, baby's heart's beating and so forth. I believe the baby's heart's beating because um, I am, uh, I feel her, her moving, so um, that's encouraging. Um, and then I'm going to go to get an NST, which is stands for non-stress test. Um, I have to actually go to the hospital for that. And they do a sonogram just to check the fluid levels and weight gain. And also they're going to see like how her heart rate reacts to like attractions, movement, all that stuff. So anyway. <laughs> It's exciting, we're almost there. Home stretch, I'm technically, I guess, full term at 37 weeks and six days. Tomorrow will be 38 weeks, so I usually go late. So I actually have an induction planned on the 6th, so yeah, there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no, um, no wiggle room. They don't want me to go into labor too late because if I do, um, just because I'm older, I guess things can go wrong if you wait too late. So they're they're like, we're inducing you. So my due date's the six, and that's when I'm going in for the induction. So anyway, off we go. So it's the morning, but they have this taste of Jamaica um, barbecue thing going, and it smells so good. Yum. 
oh cool we're gonna get a sephora and a pandora i don't think pandora's jewelry but sephora's makeup like girls love makeup so i'm sure they'll be hanging out over there trees ready for winter. Feels like winter. Oh, the legume skin, tamale, stuff parts. It's so good. I would be. I'm from San Diego, so everything <laughs> feels like winter that's like below 70 degrees. So, <laughs> alas, I'm sure it's going to get much colder here. It's been below zero last winter, which that was definitely an adjustment. <laughs> but I grew up at least part of my childhood in North Chicago, which is even colder. When you're a kid, you don't really feel cold or hot. I remember my mom complaining about the humidity and stuff. I didn't even remember it, so. I just wanted to play. Now I, now I feel all the weather. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to my checkup. Hopefully baby's okay. So we made it through appointment one. Baby start was beating. And everything seemed good, so I'm gonna go to the NST um, over at Mount Sinai West, and hopefully there's good news there too. <laughs> On my way, I take the train, the one train. I'm waiting for the one train. something I can, I can never keep up with what's what there's always so many taxes here taxes <laughs> taxes and taxis go hand in hand late <laughs> I think this still let me in I'm kind of at the mercy of the last possible you know so so just leave that to them and hopefully they still see me So grand looking. Okay, so baby looked good. The fluid looked okay. The heart rate, the movement, everything looked okay. I'm so grateful because you never know, things can change really fast. So I'm gonna go one more time next week to NST and after that. Um, they're gonna induce me, so hang in there, baby. <laughs> she's, she's hanging out. Now we're on our way to the subway. Um, usually, if my body was left to its own self, I usually go into labor naturally at like 41 and a half weeks. But that's too long, especially I guess if you're older, so that's why they're planning the induction. So, just um, I would love to go into labor early. The only baby I had early on my own naturally was Anna which makes sense because she is, she was early to everything. She was so like early to like roll over, early, early. So she's early to talk, early to walk. She's my early girl. So here's the Columbus Circle Station. Doing a meeting, okay. Yeah, today's the day he works at home. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday night. It is shopping night, <laughs> and so we're doing simple food. We're at Costco, so I got pizza for the little kids, pizza for the big kids, um, for the big kids. I also got them um, wings, 
because they were all out of rotisserie chickens. They were also out of turkey, so Thanksgiving is in two days, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that. I'll have to get turkey somewhere else. Yeah, I think I saw I, I saw a turkey at Trader Joe's. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. We need a big turkey though, which is like Costco is a good place for a big turkey. Let me do it again. But anyway, so I also got the I got the big kids a Caesar salad. I hope you like it. So dinner is easy tonight. We had, earlier today we had um, bean burritos too, so we have some leftover from that. For the people that are not interested in Costco food, like oh, I usually don't eat too much Costco food, but. Gotta admit, Costco pizza is pretty tasty. So we're back home. I'll show you what I got for the kids. This is the Caesar salad from Costco. We can actually the, have one wing before yeah, we go. The party wings. Yeah, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. So, um, and then I also got pizza for the the kids. But you guys can try one too if you want. They're probably a lot like the rotisserie chicken. Just it has a little more flavor, I think. That was the year that he was born. Oh, okay. Is that you, Mo? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not it. It's They're Melody. At pictures. It was in Melody was little. I'm trying out the salad here. If you just get scissors. If you, put scissors okay. if you cut it open with scissors and just toss it together, it'll be good. Party wings. <laughs> Mo, put it down right here. Mo's gonna try a chicken. You wanna try one? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Tell me if you like it. This is chicken. Sniff, test. It's this chicken. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. It's chicken. It's chicken. Mm. Can I just have one bite of that, Anna? Yeah, I think it has extra flavor. It's probably a little spicy. It's just sweet. Do you think, Mo, do you like 